Hi folks, it's John from KingstonPowderCoating.com. Uh, this is a, uh, a follow-up on, uh, we basically went through the different steps with you. This is a quad four uh, frame, trailing arm, and a bunch of bits. So at the very beginning we shared with you where we had all the parts before we sandblasted them. Uh, so then we sandblasted them all to bare metal and treated them. We had them all ready for powder coating, and now we have the powder coating done. So you can see how nicely they turned out. We've got two different colors. This is like a wine color. Um, and you can see we've done um, all of the sides of these hubs. And you can see some important little things. I think the camera can pick it up. You can see where we've protected the threads. Uh, we have special uh, bits that we put inside so we don't uh, get too much powder coating in all of the threads. But that's a really nice wine burgundy color. So after it's sand blasted and powder coated, um, and you can see we have these other, so these are like a lighter aluminum, and these are like a heavier cast, and once again you can see how nicely they turned out. Um, all of the splines are nice and clean, they're protected, and then the splines once again on these. So you can see the nice burgundy, hopefully it shows up. We're just doing it outside in the parking lot because it's really noisy in the shop right now, guys with their air tools running, and our client's going to be picking all these parts up. Um, and then we have the black part. So this is uh, obviously a front spindle and you can see how nice this is in the satin black. So this is a phantom satin black powder and you can see how nicely that's turned out and how smooth it is. So we have uh, the, obviously the swing arm. There's all these. A lot of people um, have a hard time um, blasting smaller parts and then powder coating them with getting uh, the powder all the way around. We got really nice attention to detail to make sure everything is protected the way it should be. And then even things like our foot pegs which are going to get a lot of wear and tear. You can see how nicely the pegs have turned out and uh, that's going to be uh, quite a sharp looking unit I think. And then obviously we have our uh, our four-wheeler frame, same thing in the maroon. Uh, pretty tricky to do, but it turned out quite nice, and the customer's going to have a lot of fun with it. So he's kind of be doing a, like a custom build on it. So uh, taking it from the very beginning, where the client dropped it off, we, we degreased everything, uh, made sure everything was cleaned properly. We prepped it all. We media blasted it through the Kingston sandblasting division that we have, uh, and then once we prepped everything and gassed everything off and then uh, through our other division, the KingstonPowderCoating.com. So I encourage you to visit those two websites. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to email me. It's john at lastchanceautorestore.com. And I thank you for watching.